peace to the world. Because this is one of those projects you're going to be like, peace out. I'm not going to be around you. I'm going to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> My guess is you spend the day in the garden. Um, you're guessing accurately. Hmm. See? I know you. I'm going out there to plant some tomatoes. Well, while you're doing that, I'll be in here. It's that time of year again. The sun's out. It's getting warmer. Hopefully the snow is done. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure it's done. That means it's time to get to work in the garden. And I'm so happy because I feel like this is my place where I come to find peace. This is like my version of meditation. It's my own little space that I get to come out here and create, just get lost in my thoughts and in this little world of the garden. So I'm super excited that it's finally time to get back in the garden. There's the possibility that we're still gonna have a freeze. Everybody says that we should start planting after Mother's Day. I don't wanna wait that long. <laughs> you think I'd learn my lesson from last year. I don't know if you guys remember, but I planted a bunch of stuff before Mother's Day and then we got a freeze and I lost so many of my plants. On the nights that it's uh, potentially gonna get cold or anywhere near freezing, I'm going to cover all the plants that I put in the grounds or into the boxes to keep them warm. Last year I had intended to do that, but I made a pretty rookie mistake in that we had a freeze and it said the low was gonna be like 28, but I made the silly assumption that it was gonna be 28 degrees that night, but that 28 degrees happened in the early a.m. hours of the day. The main things that I lost last year were my pepper plants and my tomato plants. And that's exactly what we're planting today. We're planting some bell peppers. I think we have a poblano pepper, which are Blue's favorite. And then um, I ate tomato plants. So hopefully I don't lose those eight tomato plants. I also found a bunch of seeds from last year uh, from my Cherokee purple heirloom tomatoes and a what was the golden there was a yellow tomato I forgot the name of it uh, so we might start those seeds I don't know if I'm gonna do seed starters this year just because we have so many different projects going on and I have a little less time to devote to the garden this year so I'm trying to streamline a little bit. I said I was gonna do that last year, but I still went crazy. This year, I act, my plan is to actually try and streamline a little bit um, and not just put a gazillion different types of plants into the garden. Um, plus, we had so much food that I, I couldn't even give away all the food that we had. Uh, we still have tomatoes in our freezer from last year. <laughs> that all being said, let's get planting. You know Eight evenly spaced. Let's dig in. So, let's see, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there's this whole little berm around. And right here in the middle, it's gonna get kind of all fall apart right now when we go to put the plants in. But I'll build it back up. These are early girls. This is the first time I've tried these. Um, but I suppose mature a little sooner can be eaten fresh off the vine. Dependable large harvest early in the season. So I'm liking that idea. So we're gonna give these a try. All right, we got her in. Um, you know what I forgot to do is that tomato leaves should not be touching the soil, right? Cause they get disease easily. So I might have to trim some of these up. Got a little deep in there, but I think covering with these wood chips is going to help. We got all these wood chips that keep it out of the soil, but also help keep moisture in the ground. These wood chips are were a game changer last year in my garden. Between adding the fresh compost and these wood chips, Boy, my garden just exploded last year. There she is. Doesn't she look so happy in her new home? We just gotta give her a little water. I think she's going to be super happy. That's one in the ground. What other tomatoes do we got over here? Um, 
These mortgage lifters just, I saw this picture and that looks so big and juicy. That looks like a juicy tomato. So we thought we'd give her a try as well. Uh, let's see, water freely, heirloom variety. Oh, an improved version of Radiator Charlie's. Blue's favorite, the better boys. So, get in there, get, find a spot. So, uh, we're doing a, one of these again. I do have seeds for these somewhere. All right, now it's the fun part. Water, water, water. Don't they all look so happy? Oh, they sure make me happy. Well, we don't quite have time to do our peppers today, so that's gonna have to be another day. Sorry, little guys. You're gonna have to stay inside for a little bit longer. So I'm feeling pretty good about our day today. No? I mean, I feel like we got some really cute tomatoes in the ground. A beautiful day in the garden. In my little sanctuary. And it's coming along. There's some things that survived through the winter that are looking kind of green. It's happening. And it's so cute. I'm not really excited about this, but I'm excited to have it be nicer. So that's, I guess, all the motivation I'm gonna get for now. You're not excited? Like, just to do the project? Like, I'm excited to have, I'm not excited about the shower. Shower doesn't excite me. None of it really excites me, to be honest with you. What doesn't excite you? What we're doing or just well, doing the project? The fact that it's going to be a long project that's just stuck in a box. Oh, yeah. You know, like the kitchen, the other bathroom, there's windows, the bedroom, there's windows. This is just in a box. Uh, but it excites me to have the finished thing, the finished, you know, bathroom. But I can't say that the, from where I look at it now, it seems very daunting. Lonely. <laughs> Frustrating, hot, and dirty. So this is the before of this bathroom. And I know you're gonna miss this grout, but I just, okay, they even got paint on this. This is paint from the wall, you see it? Can you see that? That was the color of the bathroom that they painted all the way up here. Yeah, I scraped, when I painted this bathroom, I scraped off as much as I could. So you can see they also tried to recock, like you used probably like a tube of that caulk stuff. In. Well, it's soft. I think it, I think it's not, yeah, I think it's caulk, not grout. This fancy grossness, this. Everything about this bathroom is... Why do you have a plunger and a toilet brush? It's plunge your belly with it. Oh, gross. Um, Even this vanity. I painted this vanity when we moved in. Just so it was like somewhat... At the time it made a big difference, but now that we've been living with it for a while, it's, it's gone back to looking like yeah. yeah. Alright, our tiles of choice for the bathroom. We're going with black and white mosaics for the floor. They kind of remind me of LA, like the old LA architecture. I don't know what era it would have been, like 1950s. Uh, mosaic tiles for the walls. Big old rectangle subway type tiles. They are similar to what we use in our master bathroom. Um, we went vertically up the wall with them. This bathroom we're gonna go horizontally, just like subway tile would be. We're keeping it real basic because it's a smaller space. So we're gonna do lighter colors on the tiles and we're gonna hopefully get some beadboard up here, add a little color. Oh, Matt's picking the color on that. Matt, what color was our vanity? White? Oh, we got a white vanity, I guess. So the beadboard is gonna bring the color in and then we'll have some pictures and frames and whatnot also to bring some color in and our shower curtain. But all the tile, we're going super neutral, so anything kind of flows with it. This is gonna be a huge improvement. Now these are the same tiles that we did in our bathroom. Uh, however, we went with all white. Keep it a little more neutral and cleaner because we wanted the option of adding some rugs in there. Um, this is a super small space, so we're not gonna have many rugs in this bathroom. Um, maybe one in front of the shower and that's about it. So that's why we decided to go uh, with a little bit of black on these mosaics. Have fun! Have fun.